Hi everyone! Oh, no. <laughs> Ian's Hi. eating snacks! Ian's eating snacks! Me hungry. Um, I apologize in advance. I have been drinking. Um, it's been a day. I went to Costco. It was awful. It wasn't awful, but it was like, you know how you sometimes get to browse at Costco? Like, you browse around? There were too many people to do that. You just had to get your stuff and leave. Absolutely yeah, there, we, too many people. We have two Costcos in opposite directions. They're both about 15 minutes away. One of them is always crowded, and it's in this enormous shopping center that literally takes 15 minutes to drive from one end to the other. Like, it's just always packed and crowded. Damn. And then we never go to that Costco because the other one is the other one can get crowded, but it's never as bad. Yeah. our oh, So we have a Costco literally three minutes away, but the one that sells alcohol is five minutes away. Um, gotcha. So we go to that one only because daddy needed rum. Um, but yeah, it was just like there were so many. Also, the other thing, the other thing, humanity humanity it's okay to park far away from a store it's okay you can walk that yes. distance preach I, it. I assure you you can preach do it. it i love um, preaching the amount of people that did you are... tweet about pokemon uh yes i did tweet about pokemon oh i'm just sorry i'm just surprised you did i know i'm surprised too i did it this morning i set everything up i the amount of people that sit and with a turn signal to pull into where people are loading up at a Costco is amazing. What is wrong what do you with mean, you? You guys have a load up spot at your Costco? No, no. Just like those front parking rows. People wait. Gotcha. To turn into those. And I'm like, you are the amount of time you're waiting now is the amount of time it would take you to walk you got a cart. You're not carrying stuff out. Like, what I'm is... sorry, folks. I'm a, I'm a lot of sorts. Look, I don't mean to interrupt your story, but no, it's fine. I had I'm, a very I'm, long day. I was. I just I was... got home five minutes ago, and we we literally almost got t-boned about ten minutes ago. Oh, it gosh. was very. Close. I'm sorry. Let's get into um, Pokemon, and then I'll tell you. We'll tell get into Pokemon. Story. I'm here yeah. in Pokemon. I have been leveling up my little my little bitches uh, but, oh, a boys. lot. Um, I did change up the team a tiny, tiny bit. Um, I have Aerodactyl oh. uh, instead of Pidgeotto, and I brought back Rock Obama, who is a Graveler, uh, instead of uh, Nitto King. Okay, let me update your party then. <laughs> I have been leveling so... like crazy. Okay, so we're going to get rid of Nitto King and bring Graveler. Yes. Did you make these decisions because of uh, uh, recommendations, etc., or just because... No, um, well, Aerodactyl I brought in because Halucha actually commented on the last video, or two videos ago, saying, where's Aerodactyl? And I forgot he was sitting at the daycare. So I pulled him out of daycare. Right, he it. was at 20. Um, and I have subsequently got him to 31. Um, okay. And then, uh, I brought, Gra I brought Rock Obama in cause I, I, I had Nitto King, but I really didn't have any use for him anymore cause I didn't even cut or anything and Surf was on other people. So I brought in Rock Obama and gave him Rock Smash. Um, I went and got Moltres, the legendary okay. bird. Uh, and then I've literally been leveling up. I just boot up the SP level up, um, which is how I discovered that I'm pretty sure my original SP 001 battery was bad. So I bought a new battery and uh, put yeah. that in and it seems to be working a lot better. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of kind of everything right now. Um, um. Yeah. Okay, so in this, you are going to be taking on the final gym and the Elite Four. Victory Road and then Elite Four, is that right? Yes, so we have this, Victory Road, including some sort of large cave. Wait, um, why are you... Is this... This is the gym... This is the final gym, right? Final gym, Viridian. Sure. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, sorry, I'll just tell the accident story. Again. So we, oh, yeah, we yeah. were I've coming home because we uh, we went up to a tea house. You ever been to a tea house? You know, like a like a where you sit down, and you have like multi course snacks, and they bring tea and everything. It's kind of fun. Maggie really likes them. I've never heard. So of we did that. that. Then we went out, had dinner with the family. <laughs> Anyways, we're coming back. It's it's hard for me to describe this because it's all about the intersection. We got off the highway, and then we're taking a left turn onto the road. And it's one of those, like, really long left turns. You know what I mean? Like, like where, like, you're traveling, like, 150, 200 yards through the intersection. Hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. And there's two left turn lanes. I'm in the rightmost turn lane. There's a guy to the left of us. The light turns green. And it's, it's like a left turn lane under the, under the overpass. So it's literally like a long one. So I turn left and we start going. And as I'm turning around and starting to face towards where we need to go, I see somebody about 150 yards away who's going about 30 miles per hour. And they just, they are so oblivious. They have just completely gone through the red light. <laughs> and they are coming right at my driver's side door. And there's a guy to the left of me because he because he's in the left lane and I'm in the rightmost turn lane. And I'm like, and he's going 30 miles per hour. I'm going about 30 at this point. Thankfully, there's like 150 yards between us, so I had enough time to like react, assess, react. And anyways, I I swerve to the right, and then I realize, oh, I'm coming up on like a weird like island median in the middle of the intersection. Wow. So I'm like, I like swerve right, swerve left, swerve right. And he just keeps going 30 miles per hour. Thankfully, the guy left to me saw him as well, because he went far left. And the guy just went <laughs> right between the two of us as we're in the middle of making this Jeez. left turn through the intersection. Jeez. And then oh. I like I start honking and the guy to my left starts honking and I and like I straighten out and I look in the rearview mirror and the guy like finally slowed down and stopped like 200 yards behind us in the median. Like he was just so oblivious blowing the red light and only because we reacted that he like literally split the two of us as we're turning left. And it was just like, oh, it was like I like I I don't think I would have gotten hurt, but it would have hit my it would have hit driver's side door, totaled the car. I think my car is only worth like four thousand dollars, so I would have had to go out in this god awful used car market and try and buy a car for four thousand yeah. dollars. At that point, like, I would just sell you my car for much more than four thousand dollars. <laughs> I do. I I love the Ford Focus, Ford Fiesta. It's just too small to be a daily for me. That's what. Yeah, sucks. totally. Like I realized, I can fit eight foot lumber in my car, so I, it's great. Wow. Um, yeah. So I, I'm a little frazzled because of that. I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm sorry, buddy. It just ooh. I've had that Anyways, before. Back to... Um, not okay. necessarily the same thing, but like I've for weeks this bothered me. I came I got off the highway to an exit and then I turned when the light went green, I was like, Oh, I can do a right on red and I turned right and there was a mm -hmm. guy who was coming across making a left who had the right of way because he had a green arrow who thankfully yeah. braked and went behind me, not in any sort of rushed situation. Yeah. And uh, and got pointed out to me. And I I felt bad for that for like weeks. Like, oh, I'm a terrible driver. I went, I didn't, because he was like in my column of my car. And I was like, oh, I'm, a, yeah. I'm the worst. Like, so I totally understand that feeling. Yeah. Um, I've, I've done it before. Like, I've, I've accidentally run red lights and stop signs because I just zoned out. Yeah. But this was, like, this was so crazy because, like, by the time we saw each other, there was a good, like, second and a half to react. And as far as I can tell, he did not react. <laughs> like, like, even when you zone out, if there are two cars in front of you in the intersection, you're going, you should be able to react. And he just yeah. did not. And it was just, like... What are you doing? I distinctly remember uh, during my driver's test, I I went over a speed bump, and I remember, mm -hmm. so literally the um, oh, I for, totally forgot to heal, the um, the guy who did the driver's test at our DMV nice. was a former drill instructor, like no joke, oh, was a yeah. former drill instructor, and I had him, and he was the most pleasant human being I've I've ever experienced. Uh, I did perfectly, and uh, it wasn't until after the guy got out of the car, my driving instructor, who was in the back seat, 
said to me, he's like, I can't believe how fast you went over those speed bumps. I can't believe he didn't yell at you. Like, I can't believe he gave you your license. Because the guy gave me, mm-hmm. signed off for my license. And I think Zach came and picked me up and he was like, oh, do you want to drive home? And I said, no, because I was so upset that I somehow got my license after doing a bad job. And it was like later that day yeah. or the next day, I realized like, I said, that guy was just a dick. And <laughs> like, I was perfectly fine. I, yeah. Like I, I actually failed my first driving test. My first, well, you had to take like, I don't know if it was for you, where you had to take the written test to get your permit. Yeah. And then you do the I hours and permit. the driver's ed and all that. I, I failed the first time I did my driver's license test. And it's because we got in the car. This old man got in the car with me and I had heard he was a hard ass. And he got in the passenger seat and he looked at the windshield and there was like an eight inch crack in the windshield. And he goes, this car is not safe to drive. You have failed. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> so I like, I, I got out. I told my dad, my dad was so mad. He was just like, what? And I was like, yeah. And then and like, that was the car we were going to take it in. And he was like, I guess I got to get my windshield fixed now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like it'd been there forever. Like it had slowly gotten bigger, but it was not completely cracked. It was just a, you know, like a yeah. six, eight inch crack in the windshield. Um, and then the second time, the only time I got points off was because it was a parking lot driving test and it was just like a loop. And there was a part where you come to a part in the loop and you take a right turn, you stop at a stop sign, you take a right turn and the left is blocked off and across from you is blocked off. So it's just a stop sign, right turn. So I come up to the right sign. I looked forward. I looked right, stopped. And then I went and he's like, he's like, why didn't you look left at the stop sign? And I was like. It's blocked off. Nobody's coming from there. And he's like, you should have looked left. And he took points off. Oh, but I still passed. Mother. And I was like, I don't care. As long as I passed. Uh, That's infuriating. Yeah. Woo. Anyways, I, coming um, down from that. Thanks thanks for the... Um, Halucha, how, how old were we when we got your driver's license? I, I kind of waited just because I was too lazy to get the permit stuff done and sign up for driver's ed. But I think I was... It was, sorry, I'm trying to think. I think it was January, February of my junior year, so that would have been 17. What about you? It was, I think it was junior year. So I think I was 16, 17 is the same age. Yeah. Um, Cause I remember I I wanted to do driving lessons over um, sophomore year, April break. And my mom was mm-hmm. like, are you sure you want to do that? And I was like, I might as well, you know? So my yeah. friend, my friend Richie and I, who I have no idea what he is doing nowadays. Um, I, we, um, I'm just thinking about it now. We, uh, we did it together and weirdest driving experience. We watched like final destination and that video of the guy with the crossbow shooting, uh, like road rage stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I, I did a lot of driving with them. The guy I had it actually as a dr- as a driving instructor um, was great. This guy Frank, he has to be dead now because he was like a hundred and three when I had him. Um, funniest guy I've ever met. Um, like, I, I think he was Italian, like crazy Italian. Ugh. He might have been Greek. You know that kind of blurs the line Ugh. there with like mob stuff. But like yeah. this guy came. You know how. When a car's turning, people pull around them, usually. Yeah. That's technically illegal. No one's ever going to arrest you for it, but it's... You mean, like, pull off onto the shoulder? Yeah, like, slightly onto the shoulder to go around you. So he was like, oh, that guy just did that. He's like, I should have thrown my... He had a... I don't know if it's, like, a retirement badge or a citizen's badge from the police. He's like, I should have shown my badge. would have scared the shit out of him. (laughs) <laughs> I was like, at that moment, I knew this guy was great. Um, issue with my driving, uh, original driving tests, was my foot. So for the, you know, how the driving instructor has the brake in, brake on the other side as well. Uh, my yeah. foot, top of my foot, kept catching the latch that hooked it onto the driver's side brake. Oh. So yeah. I, I never felt like I was properly pressing it, and he finally was like. Hey, is your foot touching the full brake pedal? Or are you touching the latch? And that's when I realized I was touching. So like for two weeks of my driving, I was pressing oh, on gotcha. a tiny little, little latch to brake. Yeah. 
<laughs> which is yeah. terrifying to think about. Um, my, for my drive, I think I did two drive alongs and my driving instructor. It was like two hours of driving and he fell asleep like 45 minutes in. He just <laughs> took a nap for 45 minutes and it was just like, okay, old man. They also do like, the, like, I think he realized I was fine. Did you have parental stuff too? You're supposed to drive. Yeah, like the permit was like you have to get X number of hours with a certified somebody who's like 25 or older with their driver's license and then and they sign off on it. And then you had to do driver's ed as well and pass that. And then that was enough to qualify you for the driver's license. And then like a minimum time, like three or six months with your driver's yeah. permit. I remember uh, there's no way I drove that amount of time with my dad, but I, I'm pretty sure it was like we drove around for a couple hours and then he just was like, yeah, you're good. <laughs> like I... Mine was like a dot, like a diary. Like you had to document and sign each time and oh, how much. Geez. And I never filled it out. And so when it came time to do it, I just had to like forge a lot of it. But I definitely had the time. Um, and, and I remember when I was driving with my driver's ed, we we went to the 695, which is the Baltimore Beltway, like in rush hour. So it was it wasn't stopped, but it was pretty busy. And we're coming up on it, and he goes like, "Okay, now just remember, you're gonna have to merge here." And I was just like. Like the on ramp, I was just like, like pulled up next to somebody, immediately merged over, and he goes, "That's very confident." And I was like, "You got to do it. It's Baltimore six out. You gotta, you gotta put yourself in that space. They will never give you room." Yeah, I feel yeah. like my instructor imparted a lot of that because it was like, he was like, he's like, the on ramp is for you. Like, like people yeah. tend to break on the on ramp. Just go. Like. Yeah. You are getting on to the highway. People will make room for you because people don't want to get in an accident. Like, that's not saying yeah. you bully, like, you just go and don't look. No. It's the same with, like, he's like, when you're getting off a highway, get into the exit lane, then you are allowed to break. Like, yeah, don't break exactly. before it. Don't freak people yeah. out. Um, I'm just going to go get more. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so Lucha, thanks for the comments on the background. I put up the lights. I, I had all those board games here. I actually moved them to my front room because we, we had these two bookcases in our front living room, but there's a huge picture window next to it. And the bookcases were empty. So I realized when people were driving by our house, they would look in, they'd see the nice Christmas tree. And then these just like two empty bookcases. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so I moved the board games out there. My plan is I, I actually just today almost finished. Um, there's going to be a seven foot floating shelf that goes basically where those first line of decorations on the wall is. I'm going to put most of my gunpla up there. This top line of shelves, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fabricate these bins, but the front of the bin is going to have a console mounted on it. So, for example, like an N64 mounted on the front of the bin in the cubby hole, and then you pull it out, and in the bin is the controllers and all the stuff for that good. console. Like that. So I think I'm going to do that across these top seven. So I'm kind of in the middle of reorganizing and getting it all done. Um... It'll be nice. I do have, you, you can barely see it, but that up up there is my, uh, it's a weird SNES Genesis Gundam poster that Jake got me. Actually, you know what? I've got a camera. I can show it. I got Jake's uh, fugitive poster. You can see I it gotta, up there. I got to get a frame. Ooh, that's very cool. Yeah, I had, I had a frame with a crappy picture in it, and I was like... Oh, this is the perfect size frame. I'll just take the crappy picture out. I need to, uh, I've been 3D, I finally got my 3D printer back up to snuff. I um, saw that. Good job, buddy. So I need to, I, I need to print the dampener, damper back bracket for the Y axis. But Karen has been requesting several items that I think I'm going to start printing overnight. I, I think the Y, I'm trying to remember. There's some, oh, uh, thanks to Lucha for donating. Um, Thanks to Lucha. How did you do I, that? I, oh, there it is. I see it now. I think, um, I'm trying to remember, with the dampers, some of them I printed and I put them on and they horked the belt too much. And I think the Y-axis was one that I eventually took off. I'm yeah, just trying I'm trying to, trying to figure it out. The, all the ones I see, you have to reverse the X-axis motor and thus change the... Uh, not the G code, but the machine code to account for that. Um, but the Y axis one, I don't think you have to flip. Why do you have to flip the X axis one? Up? It people do it so you don't have to take the entire X axis bracket off to replace it. 
So you know oh, how there's that. Move yeah, yeah. You just flip the motor to the other side, but you end oh. up moving. You end up moving the z-axis clip because you flip it. Yeah. So you have to set it to like gotcha. false or something. I don't know. Gotcha. Uh, all I know is I have to pee, uh. and I'm gonna pee after this battle full of water. <laughs> okay. Um. um Hey, when you go to pee, just leave it on your Pokemon screen and we'll we'll do some uh, yeah, tactical sorry. analysis with the chat. Also, I gotta I log like into my Hunt270 account so I can donate 2,000. This this Ian Plays Kingdom Hearts 2 does not appear uh, when we aren't live, so I couldn't donate to it in the That's off That's a good point. I, I wanted to, t to tweet about it, so let me see if I can grab something about also, it to tweet. Also, not that you have to do this, but I think an uh, I recently bought a Legend of Zelda calendar that was on my fridge, uh, and I thought maybe a Ian plays uh, Twilight Princess would be a pretty good. Oops. I I have thought about playing a Mass Effect Legendary Edition. My experience with that has made me think that I feel like every year I should take at least one game that I have not loved or I just have no interest in and try and play it, but. I think I think this I don't think it's Twilight Princess. I think it's either Kingdom Hearts 2 or it's or it's Death Stranding. I think those are those Ooh, are two Death better Stranding versions really of that. I, I only said this because so. I, I could literally I could ship you a Wii U and uh, the Wii U version of Twilight Princess if you would. If and you would I can throw it in the trash. <laughs> yes, you can do that. I don't know what's wrong with Jersey trash, but I <laughs> definitely Stranding throw that away. That's actually for you a genuinely good idea i don't know if i told you this yeah. but um when i cleaned out actually i think i mentioned this last week when i cleaned out the jersey city studio i googled my special editions to see how much they were worth and if they were yeah. under the same price or about the same price i just threw away the boxes and kept the stuff yeah you did mention that yeah it's like there's no point it's like i'm not gonna hold on to this gta collector's edition box if it's worth the same amount of money. Like, if it was, like, at a point where I'm, like, in 20 years, it's going to be hundreds of thousands of dollars, then maybe, but no way. Sorry, I'm try I am just want, like, a nice little thing that just says, like, hey, here's your thing that's running, and then I just want to, like, copy that. But the, okay, but the here's my Pokemon. Is I'm going to go urinate. Okay. Check okay. them out. Goodbye. All right, uh, Halucha and Zach, I, look, I'm looking at his party. He's probably going to win this badge. There is absolutely no way he gets the Elite Four, right? He's He's got a level 33 and a level 38. Like, I, me personally, I don't think my party comp is as good as his, but I'm sitting at, like, 48 to 50 on all my Pokemon, and I'm only getting two out of the four Elite Four right now. So there is absolutely no way he wins the Elite Four with this team, right? Or am I crazy here? This is not. This is not going to be the final episode. Thank you, Scribbles. I I think he thinks it's the final episode. He must have forgotten when I told him you should get your party to 50 minimum. Because there's no way it's happening. Yeah, he, he had... Who did he have in place of the Graveler? Oh, he had a... He had a Fero. And just like... Yeah, this is this is vanilla fire red. We haven't done any mods to it, so there's no way. I I can't like this is not me being mean, but I cannot wait for him to just I don't even think he's do you even think he's going to win the rival battle heading into Victory Road? I don't think he will. He's about to have a reality check. Welcome back. Hey, I'm back everybody. Sibylla, who, was, who what are you doing who here? Was the, who was in your graveler you? slot? I'm trying to remember. Uh, Nido King. Yes, I think that may have been a mistake, but let's let's have the. Uh... No, that's fine. I, I only brought Graveler in because I was um, forget what I was doing. Um, yes, Sibylla, were you the one who drew the awesome save data thing, uh, with all the people? Because I, if you did that for free, I would like to pay you money to do that for us. Yeah, um, actually, yeah, it's a good. One hundred percent. No, I no, I don't think he traded Nido King. He just swapped it out. Yes, yes. So yes. I, I think you should. Same holds you I, saying I bring Nido back King. Nido King. Okay, should I do that now? Yeah. I'm gonna do that now because Surf is dominating here. Yeah. 
Sabilla, I will almost honestly pay anybody money all the time. Yeah. I'm up for okay, some commissions, so... Um, Halucha, I did do your bequest. I did go get rid of Cut on Nido King. Um, I forget what... I had a thing in mind that I... For the reason I brought back Rock Obama. Yo, I love... As soon as I... Like, I literally found... So I make a lot of paper art. I don't know if people know this, uh, the Sankai kits. Um, and I literally found a paper artist on Patreon and I immediately subscribed and joined their Discord and was like, hey, your stuff's awesome. Um, yeah, I will support the arts. Art is so good. I also hate art, but I love art, you know? I hate art, but I love art. That makes any sense. Uh, I'm kind of like Jake in the fact that I love crazy uh, cover art. What was that face you made there, Ian? You know what face it was. Uh, uh, I just, <laughs> I, every now and then when I hear you talking, I just go, ugh. I know. <laughs> You're the um, literally the worst. I, I can't. Sibylla, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your Twitter? Let's, uh, I didn't want to change my phone. So, oh, I, at the box master? That looks right. Nice. I'm looking at your commission info right now. I'm going to put I've, this in actually, the uh, community. Internal. Since the moment I met you, Sibylla, because you do the, um, the jewelry stuff, I, I have, I've thought about doing this myself. I have a, I have a coin from Barcade, whereas Karen and I had our first date, and I want to turn it into a ring, because I think that would be extremely cute. That's I don't know your thoughts about this, um, but it, I don't know if you're able to do that. I could ship Because they you. draw. Because they draw, you're just like, hey, can you do metallurgy no, 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 and jewelry no, 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 as well? No, 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 no. Sibylla does jewelry stuff. I started the sentence by saying that. Uh, I think it's like a quarter size. If that helps, because they're arcade for arcade cabinets, so it would be quarter size. Gotcha. Yeah, if you want to DM me in our from our Discord, I will totally if, if that's something in your realm. And if I can buy a, a extremely expensive diamond to put in it. <laughs> uh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Sorry, I didn't mean to click off the you game. Don't, you don't need to go. You don't need to go look at it. It's no, no, no. no. I, I wasn't. I just. I literally clicked by accident. Uh, let's do fun. I'm really upset that you're a bench builder, Sibylla, because I thought I was on a really good roll with, like, just because they draw art doesn't mean they know how to do jewelry. <laughs> I don't know what it is, Sibylla. I'll look at it. Probably, um, like, nickel or something. It's just, yeah, like, it's a cheap be coin, right? I was literally thinking of just turning it into a ring, not, like, turning it into a ring with a set stone or something. Yes, you also write fan fiction and books. I'm jealous. I, I, I feel like I'm a good writer, but... I've always really commiserated with the uh, David Foster Wallace quote, which is something like writing is like shitting small, sharp stones. <laughs> Cause I am such a, it's, writing is so painful and slow for me, but I feel like I, I am good at it. So it's just like, get better. <laughs> get better at the game. Honestly, Send people your, what's, should always be paid for write, their talent. Yes. Uh, if you got fan fiction, I'm curious what's uh, what com what communities or it wouldn't even be genres. Is it fan bases? Like, how would you say what is your fan fiction? Can of? you write not safe for work fan fiction about me and Ian? Because I would totally pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever read the one about? I think it's Rex Ryan who's like the Jets coach. Like somebody wrote a fan, like an adult fanfic about Rex Ryan and his players. <laughs> that's incredible I would pay for that yeah. because I would make us have to read it for an extra life thing. yes 
Um, no, Sibylla, like, like, oh, do you write, totally. <laughs> you know, like, Star Wars fanfic, or is it Kingdom Hearts fanfic? Like, Wait, what so you write fanfic about community. Not Safe for Work fanfic about fictional characters? Because I also might have several <laughs> to I feel pay like you for. <laughs> Friend of the friend of the show, Jimmy Jones. Uh, I feel like one night we had too much to drink, me and another friend of ours, and we looked up. I think we looked up Bones fan adult fan fiction and just started reading it. Something about I. I don't mean to get a little personal here, but something about fan fiction, not fan fiction, but erotic literature, is like it hits yeah. a different it's note. It, it's no, good. but it hits a different note of horniness. Like it's it feels, not it like. Feels like it feels more personal. It feels much more cultural. It feels like much more cultured, <laughs> yeah, yeah. too. <laughs> yes, I would like to partake in some pornographic material oh, yeah, and imagine like, the beast bunch, with two backs. The, a bunch of, like, Ernest Hemingway types, like, on a, mm. on a safari. Like, yes, I love the fan fiction. <laughs> There's a lot of um, famous writers who did that, like Anais Nin, who was... Uh, uh, an Amer I think she's American, but she lived. She was kind of an expat in France in the early 20th century. She, for a while, she was making money writing custom erotic fanfic for um, for wealthy patrons. So she would write it for them and make money off that. And it was enough to. I think she was mostly a poet, although she did some prose. There was there was a time in my life where I didn't have access to visual stimuli so i relied on a lot of written stimuli and i think that's affected me in a way that um there's obvi well, obvious heard, to a lot of people have you, here have you heard about dipsy dipsy what's dipsy so it's it's on it's on a lot of podcasts like mission to zix has them as a sponsor it's literally just like a like it's like audible but for erotic literature like it's a subscription Ooh. service and you get access to erotic literature as well as um some of it, some of it, uh, uh, audio, but some of it is, um, just, uh, written. 300k, man, that's good. Wait, that's, Ninja that's a healthy chunk of work. I'm sorry, Ninjago is Lego, right? We can totally seamlessly blend <gasps> that with our, our brand. Do you, do you know about Jake Terrio? <laughs> can we, can we commission this subpixel themed Bionicle fanfic? Or can we, res can we act it out and... Do you think we can monetize that? Look, I, 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 How? this is going to sound a little desperate, but honestly, if you're into Lego and Ninjago and Bionicle, I'm going to send you some of the awesome videos that uh, Jake has Jake's done great. on. I thought I was into Lego until I met Jake. Jake's just like really into a lot of different things. Jake and I solidified our friendship when I when he did his thing about Lego racers and yeah I realized this is one of my favorite games of all time here I'll send you if you were into Bionicle there was the Matanui online game which was the Bionicle MMO in a way and uh, I'll send you the the really good video he did on that where am I going yeah it is good my life? I know it's good because I watched it and I don't watch a lot of our content <laughs> that's fair only because I'm in it. Yeah. Sabella, there's so many things I want to commission you for now. The Ninjago movie, I heard that was good. Was that good? If I'm not, if I know nothing about Ninjago and I'm not even sure if I would be a Ninjago fan, should I watch it? I don't mean to bring this up. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I watched the Lego Batman movie. Great. Excellent movie. Chris Miller. Excellent Chris, movie. Chris Miller and Phil, Phil Lord. They're, yeah. they're just they're the, very good writers. When Robin's like, oh, yeah, I was, uh, my name's Richard, but they called me gotcha. Dick in school. And, and and he didn't say that in a bad way. Will Arnett's just like, yeah, kids can be cruel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's Villa. So maybe, maybe I'll watch it eventually, but not. I'm so happy they're making a second movie. A second what? Batman, Lego Batman. Oh. Yeah, I never. There was a second Lego movie, right? Yeah, I didn't watch. It wasn't that. quite as good. I I will say I, their commitment. I don't to... think it was. Sorry, I don't no, think go. it was worse. It's just that the first movie was so good and creative, and yeah. the second movie is more of the same, so it's less of a surprise. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, gotcha. Their um, their commitment to 
uh, animating Lego pieces is what I have loved about those movies. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely still worth watching Lego Movie too. It's still, it's still good. Uh, I'm gonna heal. Before you got so many others, but it's always this is always one of those gambles in Pokemon where you're like, is my guy gonna go first or not? And if you're yeah. not sure, it's it's tough. Well, his attack so miss. Uh, oh, earthquake up. Okay, but now you know that he goes first. I don't like that it doesn't tell me the magnitude of the earthquake. Oh, I guess earthquake's different than magnitude, isn't it? Never mind. Yeah. Earthquake's just big. Hey! Hey! Suck it, Giovanni. That's another badge. I, we're only, what, 36 minutes in? We got plenty of time to beat the Elite Four tonight. It's gonna be great. Honestly, I like that they do the whole thing where you can't do this gym and it turns out he's the leader of it. It's very... Yeah. What do you think your chances are of beating the Elite Four tonight? Absolutely zero. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Why Why not? I mean, maybe. Okay, I don't care. Stop talking to me. Uh, uh. Updating your trainer card. Thanks, baby. Okay, I am... I was told I need to get Nido King back. Yeah. That reminds me, though, if if perchance you do not beat tonight, I need to make a thumbnail for 11. Right? Uh, I made the thumbnail for 10, so I can also make the thumbnail for 11 if you would like. Oh, OK. Yeah, you go ahead. I was going to bother you today, but I realized you cleverly put the PSD in there. So I just I did download the font, but that was about it. Sorry. You're saying Earthquake on it. OK, OK, I'm going to go do that now. The fact that build. I I think they fix this in later gens, but I hate that you can't go into a box and say swap this Pokemon. You have to deposit a Pokemon. Before um, you can so if you choose draw. move, it lets you do every everything. Oh, really? Yes, I, I, I learned that, that uh, like a week ago. Move cool. lets you do whatever you want. Hey, have you seen? They keep putting out videos from Arceus. It looks pretty good. It, it looks like they were showing images of like a Snorlax chasing you down and hurting you in the real world. That looks yeah. actually looking good. The only thing that looked terrible were the wide shots of like bare topography with like one or two yes. trees in the foreground. Yes. And I was like, preach it, queen. Don't, don't show these images. Slay. But also, yeah. that would also look bad in Breath of the Wild. Like, Breath of the Wild did not have yeah. an incredible draw distance. It had an incredible, I think they just... like, draw yeah. manufactured distance, <laughs> if you know what I mean. That's true. It, it does take place in the Midwest. Um, <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm going to look up. I want to look up all the Pokemon locations, because, like, I know Sun and Moon took place in Hawaii, basically. Yes. I can't believe I can't believe you're saying this. Karen and I talked about this last night uh, because Platinum, I think she's been playing as France. Uh huh. And she was adamant to me that it wasn't actual France. And I was trying to say no, but it is, it is France. That's what it's based off of. Yeah, it's based off of France. It's not actually France. And so we are having an argument that didn't make sense. Uh, pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna look, uh, there's eight regions. Oh, is, is X and Y France? I thought Platinum was France. X and Y is Aloha? Oh, maybe you're right. Anyways, it's one of them. No. No, I X think and Gold y, and... Uh, sun and Moon, Sun and Moon is Sun and Moon is, is yeah, X and Y is France. Sorry. Platinum is, yeah, yes, you're right, you're right. Sorry. We weren't arguing about that one. We were arguing mainly about the France one. Okay. Yes. I'm going to go generation by generation. Kanto is based on the real Kanto region in Japan. Uh, it's kind of like like the sprawl of Tokyo, basically. Uh, Johto uh, is based on the Kansai region in Japan. 
Okay, wait, sorry. Uh, I'm putting Earthquake on Nido King. Kyoto. Oh. I guess I didn't need to choose him. Oh, I already got rid of Cut. That's Hoenn is also another region in, in Japan. I, I don't mean to diss that, but that's kind of boring for this uh, topic. Um, oh. Sinnoh is based on the Japanese island of Hokkaido and southern part of the Russian island Sakhalin. That's cool. Uh, Math. <gasps> I hate Gibbsby! Wait a minute, Will. I just found something out. I didn't know this! Pokemon what? Black and White. And Black oh. 2 and White 2 are in the are in the Unova region, which takes place geogra geographically based on New York. What? No way! I didn't know that! Oh, this is gonna be great! There's, there's Nimbasa is a reference to Broadway in Manhattan, reminiscent of Williamsburg, Brooklyn. There's a reference to the Brooklyn Bridge. There's the subway. Oh, I'm excited. That's See, I think I think awesome. I was playing Black and white next year sets us up for the next year to play white and black too. Maybe. I, I feel like we've got to do a different different yeah, region. Sure. Different, yeah. Uh, Kalos, which is from X and Y, is, I believe this is the one we said that is uh, yeah, Galar's northern UK. half of metrop metropolitan France. Got it. Oh yeah, and you can totally see it in the map. Alola is uh, Sun and Moon, and that is Hawaii. And Galar is um, Sword and Shield. That is uh, the UK. Not too, not too um, grittiness. Is Galar UK or is Galar just England? I, I was just looking at it. It says UK. It's heavily on the island of Great Britain, especially England and to Wales. However, it's flipped upside down. So Northern Galar is based on Southern England. Um, there's an Isle of Man. There is a there is a Scotland. So it is UK. Or no, that's Great Britain. No, I think if it includes oh, the ice. Isles. Damn it! Ice, UK. ice, ice, ice is good against birds. Damn it! Sorry. Let me look at a map. To trying to learn here. here. Yeah, UK is everything. Anyways, United uh, Kingdom is everything, but. Ireland, Great Britain is everything. Wait, I think you may have that backwards. No, because no, because let me look at the up. Northern Ireland. Ireland is part of the UK, but the whole of Ireland is only part of Great Britain, right? Oh, what? Karen is standing right there. Okay, you have it wrong. You have it wrong. I have it backwards. Great, Great Britain is the main is the one island. Scotland, Wales, England. Hi. Hi. I just want to make sure you're on stream. Hi. Hi. People want to think I'm crazy. Sorry. Continue, Ian. So, Great Britain Hi. is the isle is basically the island of Britain. So it's Scotland, England, Wales. Um, the UK is Scotland, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. And Northern Ireland. But what is everything? Yes. Brit British Isles includes the Republic of Ireland. That's what I, that's what it is. Yeah, so British Isles is both islands. UK is Northern Ireland and the uh, English island, and then Great Britain is just, just the main island. Because that, that's why I thought you had it backwards, but at the same time, I wasn't sure. I, that was no play. That scared the absolute crap out of me. I don't know how she tell. got that close to me without me noticing. Tell. Holy crap. <laughs> Have you ever... You, you've never faced the Elite Four, right? Like, you never got that far in previous games? So, I, I did bring this up. There, I have a physic... Let me say, I have... I have a... I have a cart of Fire Red that I plugged in that has me at the Elite Four with a moniker I used to use. Um, mm -hmm. But 
I none. So this is my defense. None of the characters I am using are nicknamed, which is a thing I would never do in my entire life. So um, you think it was somebody else? So I think it was someone them. else um, was playing for me. Like I named it, and then they played the game a bunch. Because um, gotcha. I, I absolutely could not have been me. Uh, yes, thank you. I uh, ground is good against water. I, well, I ground yes, water. But you have it backwards. Yeah. Water's good against ground. Yeah. Ground water is how I remember it. I like to think of it as erosion. I literally for um for electricity or for what is it? Flying. I think about John Denver his plane <laughs> hitting rock while getting struck by lightning and uh And it's cold, so and iced it's, up. And it's rockies. iced up. The plane was iced up and that's why it's hit it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> I think of every time. You're doing uh, pretty good. The first time I, I faced this fight, I, I did not win. I I did. Uh, sorry. You might have to change this. I evolved Remy to Arcanine. Oh, God, I just I realized. I'll change that. it. RK 90s balls. <laughs> hey, you ever RK 9 some balls? Hey. A shout out to uh, pokecharms.com slash trainer card maker. That's how we do this trainer card and then we use Google Sheets to update it and it is fantastic. It's great. Damn right you're hurt by burn, you little bitch. Uh, I recently read some books about the Irish Troubles fascinating stuff it's crazy the amount of stuff that was going on i um i need to send this to you i will not say it on stream but there was a very funny post i sent to my brother about mm -hmm. uh jk rowling naming an irish character in harry potter yes i saw that I saw <laughs> and that. i lost it i also saw a post um by someone saying uh, while the name Cho Chang is very, uh, it's just literally two different Chinese cultures. last names put together. Despite yeah. that, they still felt the uh, love of adding a different sort of race to Harry yeah. Potter. Same with like Pavardi and stuff like that. And, and I understand that. I feel like a lot of yeah. people like to attribute racism where it isn't prevalent where racism where ignorance was prevalent um, yes despite yes, jk rowling being a horrible person who doesn't like trans people it's not what i'm saying um no. i think some of that stuff doesn't necessarily apply because uh, certainly in my past i have said or done things that i am not proud Is of this an apology with hindsight uh yes i would like to apologize for calling ian a human being uh he is definitely a monster i am not <laughs> i had this uh, like for some reason i was thinking today where i was like if i ever die i would really like it if in the future if you guys ever hate a video game you think about me <laughs> <laughs> like that's how that's how you remember me is whenever you hate a video game honestly, you go man honestly if you, you die tomorrow that is, if you died before you told me that, I would have done that anyway. <laughs> would have done that. Every time, oh. I, I, honestly, now, every time I see a video game and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should finish playing this, I go, Ian would hate this. <laughs> Ian would hate this. Yeah. And every time I want to stop a game, I would go, Will would give this more time. And I try to give it a little <laughs> bit more time. <laughs> Thank you. Just a little bit more time. Oh. Yeah, just to bring it up again, that's why I'm really excited about our game of the year list where it's like, hey, you ha you should, you really have to play this game for this amount of time and then we can talk about it. So it's going to force me to play some games. See, I'm there with you, Sibylla. I, even bad video game, like Dragon Lore, one of the worst video games I've ever played. Love it to death. I I wish I could do that. I really do. But I just get to a point where I'm so frustrated that I'm just like, I But see, I, I'm on your side sometimes. If a game is a, is bad enough that I can't enjoy it anymore, yeah. I won't keep playing it. But Dragon Lore yeah. and like uh, Knights, 
time time nights chase nights chase this game right here mm -hmm. are bad enough that i can keep playing them and i'm not i'm not like worse off for it you know yeah yeah um I, not not to this isn't too much of a related segue but i i actually played some skyrim last night i'm kind of at this weird thing where there's no new games out right now and I want to play some games, and I think I want an open world game, and so I installed Skyrim and played it on my Xbox last night. And I was having a little bit of fun, but that game is definitely, it's a little bit too aged for me. It's its still in that time of like, you can pick up anything, and it's just like, I really don't want to. And also the combat is not great, so. I literally, but, I, uh, Discord told me you were doing that. I literally almost messaged you saying, WTF, why are you playing Skyrim right now? I just, I, you know, I mean, I, I had a tough week at work and I just needed something to sit down and just take my mind off things and I just couldn't find a game. So I was installing and trying out a bunch of stuff. Um, you beat him? Yeah, I beat him. Uh, nice Sibylla, job. we will always take your game recommendation. Uh, whatever yes. you have. I am trying Honestly, a new my... thing this year um, that I want to yeah. play a new game every week um, just to like flex my gaming muscle and kind of get into the zeitgeist um yeah. i haven't tried wordle yet because it seems like the worst thing ever it's not the worst thing ever it's just a really nice like morning brain wake it, up that's what i've been training I, I should clarify wordle seems awesome the people who do uh -huh. the tweet thing about wordle seem like the worst people ever i i try to only do it when i feel like i have something like this morning i got it in three and my first one only had one correct letter wrong position i felt like i had an incredible recovery this morning and that's the only reason why i i tweeted it but yeah i i don't don't tweet it every day that's stupid um yes yeah, sibylla i i see recommendations there i i'm kind of picky my things are like it has to be something i already own i want to play it on the console so playstation or xbox or even switch i don't want to spend any money on it and preferably something i can just kind of like zone out a bit too so so. i'm gonna write these down um, Bug Fable, that's the Paper Mario one, right? Because I've been telling Karen to play that because she absolutely oh, loves Paper Mario. I think I have. A Anodyne came out a long time ago, didn't it? I, I, You know, Karen and I played some Project Zomboid today. Uh, and yeah. despite not playing the tutorial, we had a pretty good time. I, I think I already own Anodyne. You know what I did buy that I need to play, but I have not played yet? Will, do you remember? Do you do you remember what the best VR game is? Oh, uh, 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 v, uh, VTOL. Yeah, VTOL VR. They recently came out with some DLC that I purchased. It is basically the two-man Apache attack helicopter, and it's supposed to be fantastic. Ooh. So I purchased that, but I need to get my headset out and try it on. Cause I, whew, I, I played, I played my uh, nephew's uh, quest two today. It's, it's crazy because I played job simulator and folks, it works. It does not feel like a standalone headset. It feels like you are playing PC VR and it looks phenomenal. Like it does not feel like a gimped, gimped out mobile version, you know? So it's, it's crazy. But anyways, yeah, I need, I need to try that out. Anodyne, I think I do own this. Hey, um, we can't do it next Thursday because that's local chat, but that uh, Art of Crucis is on Game Pass. I'm pretty sure day one. I I don't know what to think about that game because it feels like they are just reaching out to a lot of influencers and having connections, etc. And that's getting people hyped about them. And every time I look at it, I go, this, this looks like a half-baked game. It looks okay. I, I know it's a Will Smith joint. Uh, well, no, he's he's just a community on it. Yeah, he's community manager. So, I, sl I, I trust his opinion of a video game, minus the fact that he works for them. So it could yeah. be pretty good. Um, but also, it's a four-player co-op, so I think it'd, it'd make good stream material. Gotcha. Isn't isn't going under on Game Pass? It is on Game Pass. Uh, Will Smith, the tested founder, not the actor. I I'm I'm gonna install uh, going under on my which, console. Right which now. one's going under? 
It is a satirical dungeon crawler. Um, is it on PC Game Pass or only Game Pass? This, this, I think it's both. This is not a diss against it. It's, it's like a very artsy indie style, but that is very familiar. I, I'm going to play this one. I'll play this one. Um, and then Bug Fables. I'm literally just Googling these and taking a look. Yeah, Bug Fables, I, I think I'm going to get Karen to play. Uh, I still need to play Paper Mario. I've never touched a single one. She played, um, I think she beat the latest Paper Mario and she really enjoyed Origami it. Origami King. Origami King. We never talked had, about that. Right? I, you, you were right. It is, it is very funny. It's got great writing, but I... I don't want to say I hated that combat. I felt like that combat had so much potential, but them like putting a timer on it and doing other things on it when they really should have just embraced it as a puzzle. That made me mad. So I only played like five, six hours of it, or like three or four I hours. I agree. I think the puzzle or the timer aspect's the worst, but I like the puzzle aspect of it 100%. Yes, and, but but the, with the timer being on it, I was I, I was just like, I need to monster repel. sanctuary. Forty-four. Monster Sanctuary. You know what game I want to play? Monster Sanctuary is the train card game, right? No, that's Monster Train. Oh. This is this <laughs> looks like a side scroller, Metroidvania, but like monster taming. This looks pretty cool. I'll put this on my wish list. Yeah. You know what? Maggie and I had an agreement that tomorrow is a do nothing day as much as possible, so I will I will play going under tomorrow. What's the total runtime on that? Let me know. Should uh, Halucha uh, pinging Halucha? Should I make room to do scary phase? Scarf for Lapras. For Lapras, I'm gonna assume no. Yep, nailed it. Uh, Sibylla, I did not ask your opinion. No, I'm kidding. Your opinion is always welcome. I feel like my two favorite people from Save Data Lore are watching the stream right now, and I'm a little nervous about it. <laughs> Only Chris was here. That son of a bitch. He's going to be on the next minigame game show. Hey, for you guys watching, I'll tell you right now, minigame game show returns in two weeks. It's going to be a good one. I, uh, I, someone told me that you invited them to it, and <laughs> I was very upset. I'm not inviting you. I know you're not inviting me. I, I do at some point in the future need to have, like, a, a tournament, like an episode of Champions. <gasps> you and should just, do a Champion of Champions. And I'm going to bring back the hard games. Make y'all suffer. Honestly, I fucking, sorry for the swears, but dominate <laughs> that shit. <laughs> That's like every day at that, work. Think about, I'm uh -huh. sorry. If you want to know where I work, think about the mini game game show, hard mini games. And that is every day at work for me is people <laughs> making those references. <laughs> in <Slack>. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So that plus, I think you should leave seasons one and two embedded into that. And that is, I, you know, <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan of I Think You Should Leave, and it's because I feel like every sketch just turns into yes. a very awkward, uncomfortable situation, and that got that that yes. got a, I agree. a little too long in the tooth. Um, but I still, I still, I think every sketch has a different way of leading to that chaos. Yes. What? What, what is this? Do I? It's a button. How do I press it? Oh, I gotta bring a fucking rock over here. Oh, you want to use strength? Oh, you know this is it's got opportunity. Let's go through. I, I'm gonna go through the history of the mini game game show real quick. Sibylla in here with the chat. The rock. Thanks, Dwayne. The rock. Kill me. <laughs> I want you to know that that chat popped as I said it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, how do I do this? Oh, I'm trying I do this to way. pull up. <laughs> there it is. No, okay. no, no. I, I think I think this may be slightly inaccurate. Oh! Actually, you know, I'm gonna... 
No, you need this XP, baby. Oh, I need this Marowak. Hey, uh, have you ever been paralyzed by farts? <sighs> Ow. Sorry, I'm, I'm checking a past episode of a minigame game show. See, that's God, what I, I thought. I have to pee again already. That's what I thought. See, the winner was not. <laughs> Wait, what did we just okay, go here. over? What have I done wrong? <laughs> is it is it uh, electricity against rock? No, 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 no. I'm trying to catch this person. Sorry. Electricity <laughs> against ground. Um, okay, episode one of the minigame game show was Will, Kyle, and Zach, and Will won that. That's the one where Kyle did pretty badly. Um... Which has become a personal mission of mine to have him win an episode now. <laughs> uh, episode two was uh, Jimmy Jones, Karen, and Jake. Jake was the winner on that one. Um, that's the one where the difficulty was dialed up too high. But towards the end, it got pretty close. Episode three is infamous. That is Will, Zach, and David. And Zach from Save Data won by three points. I believe Zach got an extra point for having a puppy and... Uh, I believe there was three points as well that there was a riot that they were not allowed to give to Will, even though in retrospect I should have given to Will. Halucha agrees it should have been given to me. Uh, Halucha, yeah. yeah, I paralyzed with Thunder Wave. That's, that's a normal thing, right? Will was robbed. <laughs> yes, it is true. 100%. And you know what? It's Honestly, it's my fault. I should have stood up as host and been like, <clears throat> this, is what, this is how it is. Uh, um, Will was robbed and robed the same time. Yes. Uh, episode four was Will, Kyle, and Jimmy, and Will won that one. It was close until the very end. That means Will is a two-time winner. Jake and Zach from Save Data are both one-time winners. The next episode is going to be Karen, Jake, and Chris from Save Data. That should be... I think I have the difficulty dialed in and based on estimated levels of knowledge and the questions i think that should be a pretty good one uh not to um, spoil anything did you did you like the um the game idea i did it's not you? it's not going to be in the next episode because right, i already finalized the next episode in terms of like questions but it's definitely in there yeah cool i um, i was i was legit excited about those ideas <laughs> i've actually done 18 different game ideas there's been 18 wow. different game types and three are new on the next episode so then so to clarify the next the next episode are three brand new games there are three brand new games on there uh, out of a total of how many games there's five five there's okay. five rounds cool. yeah i it's actually it's kind of gotten easier the more we go on because as you probably noticed, like the first episode had to be five brand new games. The second episode had to be five brand new games. But then after that, it was like, oh, I can go back to previous episodes and reuse some of those game ideas. So now I have, after this episode, I'll have 21 game ideas to pull from, which yeah. makes it easier because then I don't have to come up with the game ideas. I just have to come up with new questions. What did I think? Oh, you did know. I keep, I keep looking up PAX East panels, but I don't think they've said it yet. Yeah, they haven't um, they haven't done panel submission yet for Axis, as far as I can tell. That's for July. What is uh, it? This year? April, April. April. Yeah, I mean, just to say to you guys, this is not a promise, but we're we're probably going to take the bests, which is our PowerPoint debate show, and have that as a panel at Pax East if we can. Oh, thanks, Salucha. I, I really enjoy making them. I, if, it's one of those things where I put a lot of work into and I feel like it pays off 110%. I also have, I have, I have two prizes. Not two prizes this next episode, but I have two prizes in the hopper. I will say my Pokemon um, prize has not shown up yet. I'll look it up now. I mean, I don't expect it to, but it's going to be a bit. 100% though. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I'll tell you this, I got it off uh, AliExpress. 
so it's going to be a bit. I will say this. I said this in the pre-show. I will say this in the main show to annoy Ian even more. I bought another battery for my uh, Game Boy Advance mod SP uh, because I think I think my battery was it wasn't uh, bloated or anything, but I think it was just bad with my original SP because it was dying within 45 minutes, um, which is not a thing. Oh. oh, you stupid idiot. Hyper potion. You, you didn't, you didn't get it yet. I didn't get what? You didn't get the order. No, it's supposed to be here. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It says, it says delivering. I think it's, I think it's through US customs. I can't tell if it's actually been handed off for delivery yet. Oh, it's 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 about to be received by USPS locally. Okay. Oh, it is in Newark. I thought I deleted cut, but maybe I deleted surf. You deleted surf? No, 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 sorry. Lapras knows surfs. So but I think I deleted Surf off of, uh... I am excited. I did buy two trucker caps that are blank on the front that I'm going to put some stuff on. Ooh, that's pretty good. I have no idea where this stuff is, though. Oh, it hasn't even been shipped. Really. I guess I should... Ugh. I already have one of you. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the. I'm. I'm. I'm excited to play Going Under tomorrow. I'm ready for that. Oh. We also got to bring back the bests. I just haven't had a chance to schedule it. Honestly, it's been hard to schedule because we don't know when Will is going to beat Pokemon. So. Hopefully today. Where am I going now? Oh, I'm going over there. Ugh. I don't need an R box. Oh, I do need an R box. Oh, I'm tired, but then I keep remembering that I have to work tonight. I probably won't be going to sleep till like 2 a.m. at the minimum. Yeah, I'm sorry. It sucks, but it happens. What is Pokemon? It's the worst video game I've ever played, ever. So it, stupid. I, I hear you, but at the same time, all of these are good opportunities to, to get XP. It's like, it just... Die, stupid Marowak. I'm gonna... Go away. I hate you. I don't deserve you. I don't want to fight this man. My Pokemon are all dead. I'll suck. Bye. I'll fight you. <laughs> Excuse me. Tired. Oh, look at this. You brought a rat to a gunfight. I'm gonna flame your butthole. Oh. Uh, My butt! Oh no. Oh, I was so scared by your scary face. Not my butt. Oh no, you oh. lowered my speed. I'm slow now. Oh no, slow you now. super fang. I hope it, you you bit my face off. Hey! Oh, half, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Half of but. Me. If y'all are planning to come down to Florida, say, per chance, the third weekend in February, that is the Daytona 500 weekend. And uh, some of us are planning on going to one of the NASCAR support races. Pixel 8 NASCAR. Oh, Maggie wants to go? 
No, she's actually going to be out of town. She has to go to a wedding. And it's weird, the wedding had a very strict number of people, and so she didn't get a plus one. Which is kind of weird. Nice. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh well. It's weird, the card just said fuck Ian. It's really weird. Um, yeah, so no no pressure. I'd probably shoot it anyways, but... I was like, yeah, my dad, my brother-in-law, my dates? nephew. It's, it's February... It's the weekend of February 19th. Oh, George would kill me. There, oh. George uh, Sip Studios is hosting official Settlers of Catan tournament play. That's crazy because that game is heavily based on luck. <laughs> like even more than Monopoly. <laughs> I wouldn't say more than Monopoly. I mean, think about how much of it is just the dice roll to land. Right, but that has pretty even placement at the beginning. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I would say I would say the same amount. Maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Crap. It's. it's How dare you razor me with your leaves? Mine leaves. Nice. Great, great, great job. Sorry, I'm losing, I'm losing the will to, to, to stay awake. Oh, Lapras is dead. Never mind. Uh, is, he, is there a chance to heal all my Pokemon before the Great Four? Yes. When you get there, there's a Pokemon Center. Oh, great. Just do it, you stupid idiot. Thank you. I think Chameleon's the worst looking Pokemon ever. No. No! There's no way. He's not the worst. He's do he doesn't look as good as he should, but... He looks so stupid. Yeah. He looks like a halfway he transformation does. between Chameleon and, Char and Charizard. Yeah, Halucha, I think you're right. I think there's, there's a couple more floors for Victory Road. Should I escape rope and go heal? No. Remember, the, the, the penalty is not that huge, especially with your bank account. So just keep going. It wasn't more about me losing. It was more about I could get the Pokemon back who would be the most effective. I I, I, I still stand by in, in my experience you go further before you fully faint than you would expect. And about half the time, in my experience, I actually get to where I need to go before I fully faint. So it's one of those things where it's like, I, I did actually didn't need to run back and I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't pressed forward. Are you really gonna? Okay, Max Repel, I thought you were gonna escape rope. I was like. Oh, no, no. The problem is, my person out front isn't high level. I need to switch them. I already have you. Oh, I might lemonade boy, though. Are you playing any games right now? I feel like we can talk about it since the local chat coming up is mostly just calendar stuff. Yeah, right? true. I, I'm playing Ban Banner Saga 2. Uh, I've been really enjoying that. Um, That's cool. And then Karen and I you. played some Project Zomboid today, uh, which the game like seems like something I could get into. I'm not sure if I want to, uh, mm -hmm. but it was it was pretty fun. I successfully defeated the urge to play Factorio today. Oh, <gasps> wow. I know. I'm changing. I'm a changed man. 
I was trying to think. They have that DLC announced, but they haven't said what it's going to be, so... Still curious how that's going to shake out. That's not effective. Come on and slam. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Come on and slam. Doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Honestly, I should have a, a bird out here for some drill peck. Yeah. Or birds effective against fighting. Nice. That was the hardest part. My like level up spot was all people full of fighting Pokemon, so I could literally <laughs> only use my bird stuff. That's it. Thank God I never did those uh, those rules for this. I know. That's what I was trying to tell you. I was like, I think if you did the rules, we we broke the rules. Didn't you faint like 20 minutes in or something? I, I mean, granted, I would you have been way more. Yeah. I would have been way more careful if we were actually doing those rules. But I think it would have taken still, way, 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 way longer. And I don't think you would have been enjoying it as much. I you totally, 100. percent You were right on that. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, wasn't official Nuzlocke rules. It was just like some rules from Nuzlocke. It was like Pokemon faints. They're dead. You have to get rid of them. Things like that. And I was and like, it, there's no way. Yeah, it wasn't like in a way. like horrible sort of thing, but it was like, oh, let's do that to make the streams interesting. But still. I don't know if I'll ever be at the point in Pokemon where I would enjoy necessarily doing that other than for a stream. Yeah, that, that feels like one of those things where you're like, I play this game obsessively. I want to keep playing it. I need to create my own difficulty. And I don't think I would ever get to that point with the video game because of them. I have a very low tolerance for like repetition or grinding. Yeah, I feel like we both happen to be that way. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, weren't you going to put your high-level goober out so you keep... Yeah, I was thinking. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Same, same, Sibyl. I, I, I do it... Um... Sorry, I'm like slowly falling asleep over here. I uh, I feel like every couple of years I'm just like, I really want to play a Pokemon game. Yeah, my ex was huge into Pokemon, which honestly is part of the reason I was turned off of it for so long. Um, yeah. But it's like I I couldn't just play the game. Hey, I, I uh, not to change topics too much, but I, I finished the Arcane series, the League of Legends series for Netflix. Oh. Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I still am not crazy about that style of animation, but they do a lot of really good editing and effects in it to make it like cinematically look incredible, but I'm still not crazy about that art style. Um, I'm not going to do this, but... That series was so good and the characters were so good in it that I was like, man. And I, I really enjoyed like the steampunk steampunk slash magic world they had going on that I was like, man, maybe I should try League of Legends again. <laughs> I don't want to. But it was just one of those things where I was like, how can I get more of this world? I was like, I guess it's League of Legends. 
I'm not going to, though. Right. Mobas are... You probably gotta push that rock somewhere, right? Yeah, there's a there's a button there. I don't care about the button. I just want to get out of here. Well, yeah, you probably gotta push the buttons to get out of here. But what if I push this? You already... Didn't you already come this way, maybe? Nope. Let me know when you want the guide. Oh, yeah. I will, 100%. Yeah, you. that was the first level. No, I think you're going backwards. I know, I know, I know. Just let me do my thing. No, no. Okay. I pushed that button. I had done this already. Do I have to do it again? Well, is the barrier still up? That's the barrier top right. Okay, tell me how to get Wait. it. Wait. Can you go, can you go top left? Can you go top left? Oh, you. You dingus. I think I think you're going backwards. You shouldn't be going backwards. You gotta go back to that ladder in the top left. Oh, I need to go this way. Yeah, because you already pushed the barrier down. Uh, I'm pulling up the guide, but I'm also remembering a decent amount of this. So go up, and then I put, I think... Oh, fucker. English. Sorry. Fricker. Sorry, I'm trying to find Victory Road here in the guide. This, I will say, this Prisma guide is very good at being like, hey, here's how you get out of this place. Prisma? Okay, you ready? Um. So you're already through the first level. Screeching at me! Stupid weird looking duck thing. Okay. Yeah, okay, now head up the ladder and take the nearby stone to the north and roll it west. Yeah, you gotta roll that... No, up, right. Roll that stone all the way west. Cover the button. Come on, Nido King. The end. I will say the one thing Pokemon is very consistent with is the great music. Yes. I saw your crazy eyes. Hoping I would mess okay. up. Okay. Now... Right here, if you go back down, there was a wall there, yeah. bottom right. That is not there anymore. So, so go over there. It it lowered on screen. I saw it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry. No, 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 it's fine. For a second, I was like, oh, I, I'm gonna fight all these people later when I beat the game. Do uh, I knock that in the hole? East. Yeah. Push the rock in the hole, then jump after it. Now you're gonna push the rock. Uh, I'm just, I, I just gotta check which direction to push it. I, is there a switch nearby? I'll push it left. Yes, use my Pokemon. Okay, now go go to the right and move up the second set of steps. Oh yeah. And then the ladder. Oh. 
Wait, then wait, wait. Don't, don't go anywhere. I just need to confirm. No, that's fine. D descend the ladder. And then head east, I think. Yeah. There you are. Boom! Bitch! Get out the way. Get out the way. Hi. Um, you got weird gardens out here that are hard to walk through. Hi. Let me. All right. We got we got thirty minutes left in this stream. Let me heal all of my Pokemon. How about? It's not too big a penalty. How about you heal and we take on the Elite Four? Oh, we're in. I don't know if you know this. We're gonna win. Yes. But if you would like to entertain the folks while I go urinate again. Again? Again. That's how okay, much bye. I've been drinking. All right, folks at home, what I need from you is we know Will is not going to beat the Elite Four, but I want to give him a recommendation of what he should do off stream to be ready for the Elite Four. And in my head, I'm thinking it's all of his Pokemon level 55 in his party. What do you guys think? Are there other Pokemon not in his party that you think he should get in his party? Um, currently, right now, he has Snorlax, Lapras, uh, RK9, Graveler, Aerodactyl, and Zapdos. I, I think he actually switched some of those out. Yeah, Psychic type. Which Psychic type do you recommend? Because I think he's actually been doing a really good job at catching Pokemon, so he probably already has the Psychic type you think he should switch in. I think it's just a matter of which one he should do. Let me see what the internet has to say. Elite for best Psych. Um... Ridiculous? Gotcha. Cadaver would get flattened. Yeah, I'm just looking up some stuff, just seeing. Espeon? Alakazam. Daddy's back. All right, let's do, uh, there's a store right before the Elite Four if you want to grab some stuff. Is it this man? That is the man. I'm excited. First chance. First time beating the Elite Four. seem like a piece of crap. Ooh, Mr. Mime. I think, I think we've already, I think, do you already have Absolute a Mr. Jeff. Mime? I, I do not have a Mr. Mime. I should get one. I feel like, I'm going to look it up. I feel like I have come across a Mr. Mime in my Fire Red playthrough. Okay, Dugong is stupid and will be Thunderbolted to Nice. <laughs> Mr. Dugong. Uh, 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 uh. You deserve all of your death. I mean, What's I really on? appreciate all these Pokemon wikis, but I feel like I forget how to open all of them, how to read all of these Pokemon Yeah, wikis, there's you know? the Bulbapedia one. You have to scroll down to whatever section you want to be and then choose Gen 1 or 3, whatever. And then yeah. change it. Um, there is a man outside Diglett's cave. He will offer you Mr. Mine for your Abra. Oh, really? 
I don't think I realized that. Pokemon DB, I'll check that out. Dom Polygon, that's pretty good. Oh, come on. You never hurt yourself in confusion before. Mr. Mime locations. It's the worst video game I've ever played, ever. Route 2. Trade. Yeah, it's it's only it's only you trade an Abra to this guy for it. Pokemon DB is good. Thank you for that. Bye. Die. Oh, so don't do Mr. Mime. We're just trying to figure out, uh, apparently you need a psychic Pokemon that would really help you out. So we're trying to figure out the best one. Oh, do Mr. Mime, okay. God bless me. You doing okay over there? Uh, it looks like you're winning. You suck. You suck so much. Ah! You suck so much, I hate you. I gotta put you to a... S oh, you suck so much. I suck so much! Oh, I'd never seen the 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 enemy use Lapras, where it's like it comes from the top of the screen down. Why don't you heal him? Come on, you can do this. That's tough. That's tough. Executor, you think is a good one? Oh. The predator becomes the prey. <gasps> nice. Oh, that's 
that's uh, good. That's a lot of XP right there. Uh, Great job. Uh, oh, he's got two more Pokemon. Why don't you? All right, can I give you some advice? Was it Max? Your Revive Lapras one is of the other Pokemon. Yeah, but your but your Lapras is your tank in this fight. So basically, like like leave your Lapras out taking hits while you revive and heal everybody else. You know, like your Lapras is your pause Pokemon. So it's like a little bit of a balancing game in terms of like keep Lapras alive, but at the same time heal the others. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. He's gonna get a little hurt by the spikes, but I think it's worth it. Yeah. Yes! Is he dead? Is there a red? I can't tell. Sorry. <laughs> like the compression on Discord made it look like there was a <laughs> sliver of red. Oh, and I leveled oh, up. Oh, that's right, Sibyl. I forgot about that. Spikes don't affect flying types. Oh, garbage. Yeah, I knew that. 100%. Is that it? That's good. I was not expecting that, honestly, because you were not doing great. Uh, before you head in the next room, though, make sure to, to heal and revive. I can't go back, right? No, you can't. Good stuff. Good stuff. How'd you feel about that fight? That was tough. Holy crap. You did better than I did. I feel like I I I didn't I didn't defeat my rival the first time and then I didn't defeat Lorelei like I think the first two times because I just did not have a strong electric move Pokemon, so Good stuff. Great job, buddy. Uh, who is, am I allowed to know who the next one is to set my front person or unknown? Yeah. Actually, I'll just keep yeah. Bart up front. Well, I'll tell you, how about I tell you other types? Yeah, th that's what I meant, but it's up to you if you Do you want, want me to? I, it's, it's totally up to you. I don't think it's cheating. It's just, it's like your, your choice. Yeah, I wouldn't mind knowing. They are rock and fighting. I'm gonna put the rock and fighting, put water out, right? Yeah. Nice. I think the good news is I'd have to look it up, but I feel like if you lose this fight, you lose like five or six thousand dollars, right? But I think you won that much from the previous fight. So there's like a point where it's as long as you win the first fight, it's break even to try. And like me, I'm losing on the third one, so I still make money in the end. It's just not as much. Damn right you missed, you piece of crap. Um. What's super effective against fighting? Um, think about uppercut. Remember that it's it's the opposite. Does that make sense? 
jumping in the air. So, flying? Yeah, flying is super effective against fighting. And apparently psychic as well, but I don't think you have that. See, Lapras knew psychic. Oh, but you replaced psychic? Yeah, that was a hallucin special when replacing psychic. Psychic, which I, it wasn't a bad call, to be honest. Sibyl is asking, though, did you use your psychic TM? I don't think so. I only use TMs when, uh... That said Magikarp, right? So I want to switch. No, I don't want to switch. It, it did not say Magikarp. What did it uh, say? Let me, I'll oh, look at my champ. <laughs> Still, Drill Peck works against my champ. It's a little, a little risky, but you're okay. Oh, so you got a little belly. Yeah, I agree, Sibylla. Third fight is tough. Kill, 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 kill. Yes! Yeah, I didn't realize your Zapdos was so high up. I mean, you caught him at 50, so. He's been my front runner for training. So he gets all of the. Because the people I was mm -hmm. training with were front fighting, he was yeah. the front runner. So he got everything. Good job. Two down, baby. Great job. You handled that. I mean, I know that's supposed to be an easy fight, but you handled it well. You knew when to switch. You knew what would be effective. Good stuff. Thank you. You're learning. Okay, next one, I assume is, am I, are you telling me again? What are they? Psychic? Good against Psychic is Dark? Guess I'll put you out. It was Agatha all along. That's a pretty good, pretty good ref there, bud. Garbage! God, I love naming my characters garbage. Or trash can. So this is going to be tough. Poison. Ghost and poison, but dark will still work. Oh, love a good double team. IRL. Thank Gibson. Hi. 
think I thank you, thank you, Gibson. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know who that is. Who is it? Please don't hurt yourself in your confusion. Please don't hurt yourself in. Oh, you stupid idiot! <laughs> Ghost and poison. I don't think Barney knows any poison. He's just poison. By an earthquake. Oh, he got confused. He's so confused. Oh, no. It has levitate? Oh. Why would Gengar have levitate? He's, he's feet. You know what? Yeah, and now he has feet. Oh, he I got feet and got no levitate. Why did I hit that button? Why did I hit that button? Why did I hit that button? Oh, why did I hit that button? I told you I... No, Barney, no! Oh, let's just go for, for hate. I mean, you still, yeah, I was about to say, you still got your high, high level out there. I know, Sibylla. Listen, listen, you panic. You panic and you just, you just hit buttons. Like when I skip who's the oh, next Pokemon coming out. This is good. This is good. Will! I know. He's flying. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Sorry. I know. 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 It's called panicking. I'm bad at Pokemon. It's called panicking. Sorry. It's called. It's called. It's called panicking. It's called throwing up inside your mouth constantly. And now I'm poisoned. It's badly poisoned. I'm badly poisoned. I'm badly poisoned. Just Thunderbolt him. He's an airplane with John Denver in it. Thunderbolt him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, John Denver. You're my only point of reference. Other oh than 9-11, and I'd rather make fun of you than that. <laughs> Do you think they would never, but there there is a slim chance they would make a Twin Towers Pokemon, wouldn't they? be the worst thing ever. <laughs> but also, I could see them being like, oh, sorry, we didn't realize it was so sacred in your culture. I, I'm imagining they're just called Twin Towers, but in a different language. <laughs> like, Dos Torres. Dos Torres, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be so Los bad. Dos Torres. <laughs> oh, great job. Uh, Man, you gotta... Part of me while while wait wait, wait 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 we needed to, isn't isn't Gengar the one that you have to change out because last time the fart didn't do well against him I'm no it was the other one it was Nido King who didn't do well okay um oh man you, part of you me got, when I, I was full leveling restore. Yeah. I mean, full restore full restore I keep hitting the wrong button I'm panicking I'm I'm absolutely panicking I know just just slow down you're actually doing pretty well so. There you go. It's probably gonna poison you again, but so what? At least you're not low and. Oh, oh uh, I hate that. I hate that so much. It makes me. Uh. Oh, that's a. Drill thing. Peck did hurt them. Yeah. Didn't it? I think so. I don't know if it's gonna hurt him enough, but it does. It does. It does a lot. Don't you hypno me? <laughs> it's fine. Okay, do I try to fight again or do I try to wake them up? I I think I think wake up fart cuz if you don't it's going to be a while. Do you have awakening? Should it should be towards the top. Yeah, there it is. That's like the first thing I did was buy like 15 of everything. No. Time. Yeah, you got it. You guys stop button mashing over there. He's gonna hurt you. Should I try the Thunderbolt, I, or do you think Drill Peck still? I, I would go with Drill Peck just because you know it works and it, it did what like fifty percent damage there almost. Almost. If it was fifty percent, yep. I think it would be yellow. Yeah, that's true. It's okay. Oh, you didn't get poisoned. 
Shouldn't be that much. Shouldn't be that much. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. No. I'm gonna stay. Just let me know if you need me to look anything up for you. Can, I, I would full restore. I would full restore. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, suck it, Dream Eater. I'm gonna peck you to death. Oh my god, I was not expecting Woo! that! Oh my god, Will! Oh man! Man, you've got a stacked party. You've got a pretty good party. Oh my god. I want to hear in the chat, were you guys oh, expecting that? Because I was I'm not. i throw up. Okay, I, I gotta You may want to um, use some ethers as well. Because so, so, I know Drill Pack is a little down. That's crazy. I look, I want to be clear. I don't want you to be at the Elite Four tonight because I want my prize to be there for you. Oh, that's true. I'm sorry. I need. I think soda. Oh, I have I got a bunch. Now you got, you got a lemon lemonade. I know I have a bunch of fresh ones. Okay, uh, what is Lance going into it? Okay, uh, Lance is... Uh-oh, I'm just walking. Oh, I'm just walking, different. apparently. Wait, wait. Oh, no, but you can't swap out your Pokemon yet? Lance is... Uh... He's, he's a lot of water. Okay. Water and some flying. Parts going out, then. Can you can you guys in the chat tell us why Lance is so bad? I haven't faced him yet in my game. Oh, you haven't done this yet? I thought you did. Wait, but Halucha, I'm looking at the guide. It looks like it's the guide's telling me. No, Gyarados is out. Why wouldn't I fucking yeah. crush him with fucking lightning? Oh, I'm intimidated by you, Gyarados, and your long, snaky body that could make me oh, feel his good. Oh, Aerodactyl's a nightmare. Gotcha. Oh, that's good. That's good. That feels good because it's like going so slowly. It's like you've lost a Pokemon and I have lost nothing. And it's just leveling nothing. up my Aerodactyl. Okay. Okay. I'm going to wait for chat here. Should I swap to something else? Tell me. You can you can hit you hit can yes say no. Show. I would l rather hit, you say no or yes. Hit yes, so we can see your Pokemon. It's he's, he's gonna, gonna send, send out Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Do I send my Aerodactyl, who's super low level? Should be safe with Zapdos. Because it'll do electric. Probably has a rock move. I think, yeah. and I think Zapdos? your Lapras is too under level Zapdos to be effective be with fun. water. I need a Halucha confirmation for this one before I go forward. Yes, that's correct. We need like a Halucha phone to like yes. answer. Zapdos might be faster. Okay, I'm Zapdos. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Zapdos. Should have given Zapdos a quick. <sighs> I'm gonna be so upset now, if you bait this here. What move oh, do you I forgot do? to? Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Yeah. Oh, cause he's flying. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. 
Oh my, oh my God. I mean, mine has that too. It just got boosted that much off one move though. I think, I think you got to heal. The, uh, confirmation from the chat, but I think you heal now, take another hit. Well, actually no, now you're in a vicious cycle. I think, I think you just got to wait no. until you're full. Oh no. Oh yeah. They're saying, they're saying swap. Well, wow, that's what, that's what blue waters is saying. We're waiting on, waiting on chat. I'm doing Thunderbolt. Oh, cause it has to recharge. Oh yeah. Sorry. I wasn't aware of that. Good stuff. That's two down. That was a good, that was good. Karen, that was good advice though. I will say. I didn't yes. know about the recharge either. I was taking a gamble. Okay, yeah. Dragonair's coming out. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Swap. Swap heal. Yes. Uh, what's good against Dragon? Dragon is butt. Dragon is butthole? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to zoom in here on this. Let's see what it says. I'm just I'm just listening to chat here. Ice, ice, ice baby. No, I know. I'm, I'm just looking at the guide to see what it says. No, that's fine. Ugh. Electric works on Dragonair. That Pokemon looks disgusting. It looks like a fucking butt toy. Ugh. Ian, if I owned that Pokemon, it would be in my butt. I'm telling you right now. There's nowhere else it would go. Where else would you that's put good. it? That's good. Dragon Rage? I don't care about your Dragon Rage. You should Dragon Rage somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't, it just rage. looks like... It looks like if they were like, hey, Gross. what if we had a water snake? Hey, what if we had a snakes. Gyarados, but it was slim and it could fit inside your butt? That will make Dragonair. Oh, you're going to use another Dragonair? No, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to fucking push you in my butt again. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to freeze you. <sighs> yeah, use that ice beam. Gear ice. Smooth Gyarados. As what dragon air is. Don't you this is the worst move. It's stupid. You're not gonna do anything. Oh thank god. <laughs> oh thank god. <laughs> Ian, I'm literally going to orgasm on stream if I be <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I leveled up. Great. <laughs> I feel like leveling up this is an aside. But leveling up in Pokemon is such a like uh, blue balls moment because it like doesn't mm -hmm. it just stops. It's like oh you leveled yeah. up. You're like why? <laughs> just tell me later. Okay, Halucha, um, do I need to make room for safeguard? Um, hey, before you go into the next fight, I'll be right back. But don't don't keep going. I want to be back for the continue. Okay, okay? I'll wait. Sayinghalucha.com. Do I need safeguard? Yes or no? Uh, Halucha, I hope you know in uh, in the future, as soon as the series ends, I'm probably going to start playing another Pokemon game, and I'm literally going to message you all the time. Uh, I just want to make... I need your consent for that. Uh, Elite Four. Yes. I think I'm, uh, I don't know if, uh, I'm going to wait for Ian for this. Um, I don't know if chat knows this, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking heart gold is what I was recommended. Uh, literally any Pokemon I can play, ex I, I, I would have to, I own every, own every Pokemon game. I would have to pay for sword and shield if, if that is what you recommended. Next, next year. We are doing um, black and white. Ian's going to play white. I'm going to play black, vice versa, whichever we decide on. So I think next I'm going to do heart gold. Um, so why? Uh, why is Lapras still in here? I thought you were going to switch to S Snorlax. Oh, you should have swapped. I thought. 
Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. I'm sorry. Yeah. I missed. I, I think I think you got to swap to Snorlax, heal up Lapras. Oh, I missed. I thought, restore, I, and then saw, come back. I thought I saw something else. Sorry. That was, that was totally on me. Apologies, chat. I thought sorry, I saw I, something else. I, I should go to work soon. I was like, well, let me go ahead and boot up my work computer because that takes a while. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I forgot it's in a different room. Yeah, got a nice office now. Um. Okay, so let me. Full, I pop. think full restore. You think full is full? Yeah, because it's paralyzed, right? I don't think so. Oh, he is. You're right. Hundred percent. Oh God. I love Snorlax, honestly. He's one and, of then, my... I, and then, I don't know, chat, back me up on this, but I, I feel like don't swap him out. Wait for Snorlax to die, and then yes. you get the free swap. I think so. Snorlax, honestly, I think might be my favorite Pokemon. It's pretty great. I would... Oh, man, I would... Like he's so relaxed, he doesn't care, but he also is very good. I would literally melt into him. Like, he is the ultimate... I know this is on my wiki already, but he is the ultimate big spoon. God. Oh. Okay. Ice beam? It's, it's ice. I mean? It's all ice. It's all ice. It's all ice. I I am. I. I'm a front seat coach now. Front seat. Please use ice beam. It's four times effective. Is that it? Is that it? Wait, wait, we just gotta be sure. We gotta be sure. We gotta be sure. Yeah! Oh my god! Will, I wanna be very clear here. None of us thought you could do it. I didn't think None I could do it. None of us thought you could do it. I almost messaged you saying that, we're gonna have another episode. That Zapdos was like carrying you so <laughs> much. Oh my god! Oh man! I guess we'll just do it Pokemon! on a local chat or something and clip it. Your prize is coming. Pokemon! It's coming. You beat our expectations. My goodness, baby boy. <sighs> That's incredible. <sighs> I'm sorry to cut it short, but I, I got to leave. Should we go ahead and outro? But let's and we'll talk about next year as well. We will promise next year. Yes, folks. Um, oh. Do I need to? Oh, there's a rival battle. Let's go. Let's roll credits. Oh, there is a rival battle. I forgot about that. And you didn't heal. I forgot. Uh, you about can this. drop if you need to drop. It's fine. No, I want to see you die, because I think I think Elite Four includes the rival battle. So if you die here, it means you didn't win. Oh, I'm gonna win though. You didn't? Did you? Well. Oh, Most of your heal. Pokemon were fine, right? Pidgeot. It's just your Snorlax and your... Oh, no. Well, it's good against flying as electric, right? Yeah. Oh. That was a close one. Just one down. I didn't think I was going to do it. I'm not going to give you any more advice because I, 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 I forgot there is now a possibility that you will not win this stream. And I I want you to know that I am now actively rooting against you because <laughs> I, I love the idea of, of when you win, you pull out my present and open it up. And uh, Should have ordered it earlier. You know, what I got you is on Amazon, but for twice as much money. And I was and, and honestly... I don't think it, it would have gotten you the same time because it was like back ordered. So I just went to AliExpress, did it that way, and paid half the price. Yes! Wow. Yes, 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 yes! Wow. Yes, 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 yes! Ooh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> What's he sending out? Ugh, Venusaur is disgusting. Oh, great. The sun's out. Fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, fuck. The sunlight's so strong. 
Oh no. Oh no, you're growing. God, your dick's so huge. Die! Okay, let's silent back just a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got your nephew was watching. Why does he keep... Okay. What are you doing now, Venusaur? I mean, honestly, if you were a plant, you would just make sun all the time, right? So you could eat. <laughs> Man, plant versus plants versus zombies. Great game. Have you played I that game? I've never played a plants versus... <laughs> was not expecting that. It's, the first one is the first one is very good, and then after that they just kept kind of bastardizing. Like Plants vs Zombies was a great like little flash game type thing, almost like Peggle. And then Plants vs Zombies Two was a mobile only game with microtransactions. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die immediately. Yes. I hate how excited you are right now. <laughs> I'm just upset because literally the first two times I fought the Elite Four, I died on the first one. And now I'm at the point where I die on the third one. And it's, I think it's just because my par my party is higher level than yours. It's all like average 50. But I just don't have as good a party, party comp. Oh, I don't have a four to five. Right. Oh, what? What are you alive. trying to revive him? He's alive. Oh, it's yeah, full I, hate, I, I don't like. I don't like how those are separated. Full heal and full restore. I you mean, know? it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense, but it's just like. I I don't think full heal it annoys me. Is a good. Name, Wait, what though. do you mean? What am I doing? Oh, is, is he okay? That's my B. I'm very bad at this game. I don't understand anything. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what you're yelling me about. The full restore. Yeah. I feel like full restore you full res fully restore the Pokemon. No, I, I agree. Full heal and full restore are, it's it's a weird little. It's a bad, it's a bad mix. They're not, they're not well named. Oh, so close. Is this his final Pokemon? No, he has one more. I was like a level 100. Oh. And it's custom named F.U. I know he did full reflect, but I hope it still kills him. Please. Oh. Saying switch to Thunderbolt. Oh, Thunderbolt? Stop doing that. <laughs> it's something I would do, so stop doing it. <laughs> I do like the idea of a lot of the ROM hacks being like, we're going to have the other trainers be real trainers with items and stuff that they're using regularly, and they have a very team yeah finally yeah i think your party comp and your move composition is just real good yeah i think i i tried to emulate some like have a bit of everything and i think it yeah kind of ended up benefiting Ugh, i hope this works but at the same time there's 18 levels between you guys Yeah, I knew it. Oh, goodness. I... Nope. Right, I think you want full restore, right? No, it to has heal to be status. Oh, that's right. Sorry, because I thought it was... I forgot it was down. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Do not kill him. Do not kill him. Do not kill him. 
Oh. Oh, goodness. Desos, misos. Oh, oh my god. Oh. It looked very fancy to just do that much damage. <laughs> oh, please, 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 please be okay. Please be okay. Please. This is so close. I have to, I have to revive. I have to revive. It's, 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 I can't. Has to be fart. Don't kill him. Do not kill him. It's gonna kill him. But I, don't. I think he's, I think he's but don't. So. Don't. 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 Oh. oh. I'm stalling. I'm stalling as much oh as possible. Oh my god! This is this is too much. Do this I risk fantastic. a drill peck or do I revive? I'm gonna revive. I'm just hoping he's gonna... Oh, he's not. I'm just gonna be dancing. This whole time. Oh, I see what you're saying. He's... That's smart. That's a better move. No, but he's gonna get it off before... I'm able to, I think. If I do surf right yeah. now, he's not gonna. I he's gonna go first. He's gonna go first. So I think PP stall means you try and get him to use all his moves. But I, I don't, um, I. What's up, Karen? I don't have a dire speed. I could, if I only had, oh. I know now, do surf. I hit the wrong button. Oh, oh, please, please, please don't kill me. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, kill him! Oh. Kill him, you son of a bitch! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. This is so intense. This is way too intense. No! <laughs> Why? That's beautiful. Increable. Oh, oh, the worst. Oh, good, good. Oh, please use. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I hope, please. You're almost out of max potions, right? I I'm, that's the last one. Oh. Do I risk, do I use a revive or do I try to use surf? Hi, I'm not helping you. <laughs> I'm gonna use a revive. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. I will just say, again, I'm not trying to help you. At some point, you gotta ask yourself. There it is. Oh no, well, but now you gotta revive him back. Oof. Um, at some point, you gotta ask yourself, is it pretty much guaranteed I'm gonna lose this fight and I'm just wasting all my items until I lose? You know no, what I mean? Oh yeah. Because then, then at that point, you're gonna have to retry the fight with no items. 
so. But you have a lot of money. Oh. That actually helps me, because now I can use a forward sword. <laughs> If he didn't do, if he didn't burn me, I couldn't have used a full restore. Oh, because you can't use a full restore unless he has a status effect. Right. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay. Sibylla or Halucha, Thunderbolt or Drill Pick. Please tell me, what will do more damage? Bolt. Okay. Oh, they say you can use a full restore. Is, is that it? Is that it? Yeah! Oh my goodness! That's insane, Will. You should not have won that. That's crazy. Yes! Pokemon! Oh my god. Pokemon! Oh, okay, Will. Before we do the outro, I have to ask you a question that I asked at the very beginning of the series. How likely are you to recommend Pokemon to a friend or colleague? To a friend or colleague? Out of 10. One being, I would never recommend it. 10 being, 100%, I will always recommend it. Uh, can I give my reasoning? Yes, but give us the number first and then the reasoning. Well, actually, no, give us the reasoning first. My reasoning is I want no one else to experience this joy and Shut excitement up. except for Shut me, up. so it's a one. <laughs> give me a genuine number. Give me a genuine uh, number. Uh, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 10. 100%. We started at a four. We started at a four. We started at a four. It's a, it's a 10. Uh, it's so good. Uh, how it can is. This, how can this much joy exist in the universe? It's because not, you owned it. Not you caught the Pokemon. You everyone. trained them. It's so good. It's so good. It's so pure. It's so uh, good. I, I don't mean to rush this, but we should probably do the outro. But first, we need to talk about... Poke Will will be returning towards yes. the end of this year, the end of 2022. We will be coming back with Pokemon Black and White. Yes. I think Will and I are going to try and play it simultaneously. And no promises here, but we're also going to try and every time there's a rival battle in the game, we may try to battle each other and because trade we're playing and it simultaneously. Stuff like that. Yeah. So it's um, going to be fun. Incredible series. So much character development. I'm so happy you took this journey, Will. I can't believe we did it in 10 episodes. Huh. Uh, incredible. Incredible. Uh, if you want, I'll, I'll finish out this, all this chat. So if you want to drop, that's fine yeah. with me. Uh, I Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thanks to, to Halucha and Sibylla and everybody else who joined us and helped us out. Um, I can't wait to come back with more Poke Will. Uh, yes, thank And we'll you. be back. We're thinking November, December, sometime around the same time frame. It should be a fantastic time. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Totally. Thank you, Ian. Have fun at work. Bow. Bye. I won't. <laughs> Uh, folks, I'm just gonna finish out this this uh this here chat. Um, gosh, I can't believe I did that. I was I. <laughs> Thank you, Sibylla, and I mean Halucha, hundred percent, a million. I was, ugh. I could hug you right now. I could kiss you on the lips. Oh, thank you. It, you've been. Probably, I mean, other than playing the game, you've been the best part of this entire series. So, thank you for being here. Uh, gives me to understand why you've lost, you piece of shit. Uh, yeah, I'm special. You lost because you didn't buy enough max potion. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Put my Pokemon in here and clone them. Clone my sweet, sweet Pokemon. Oh, saving. Don't turn off the power. I wasn't planning on it. Yeah, fart. Yeah, Barney. Yeah, Taco Bell. Remy. Aerodactyl, didn't get to name you. George, my king. Oh, my king! 
God, I want a poster of this. Ugh. The perfect human beings. Yes. 46 hours, folks. 46 hours of my life. God. God. I'm just back. Oh, Gibbsy, get out of here. Oh, Oak. Talk to me. Your grandson sucks. <laughs> they do go one together, farting. <laughs> Should have been diary and Taco Bell, to be honest. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, run! <gasps> it's me running! Oops. I just punched the Seinfeld Lego. Probably not a good idea. Folks! Woo! Folks, I did it! I like Pokemon. Gosh. Um, thank you everyone who watched this series and is watching this series. I like Pokemon now. It's a true fact. And it's, it's, I hate it, but I love it. Love it so much. I think I'm gonna play more Pokemon on my 3DS that magically has all sorts of games on it. Um, honestly. Halucha writes in the chat, I am so impressed that you washed the Elite Four. Really phenomenal work, Will. Halucha, phenomenal work from you. You are an incredible human being. Um, I... Gosh, I love you. You're great. Honestly great. Um, and your support of not only this show, but Subpixel content uh, makes me emotional, so I won't talk about it too much, but thank you so much. Also, Sibylla, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Uh, and also supporting us. Um, gosh, it means so much. I, and I'm very excited to open Ian's gift. I will make sure everyone knows when I open it. Uh, probably on an episode of Local Chat, I will ping people so they know. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Gosh, Venusaur, you're ugly. Um, oh, gosh, this is wild. I can't, I literally can't believe it happened. Can't believe I beat this game. I'm gonna go do the other island stuff and then the rematch or Elite Four, or whatever, probably in Fire Red. So I'll keep you updated in the Discord. Folks, check out the Discord. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will see you all Thursday, Tuesday. I don't know what we're doing Tuesday uh, for another uh, stream. Uh, check out the Discord. Um, Sibylla, I will definitely be messaging you, or if I forget to message me about that coin ring, uh, let me know. Oh, oh and that uh, uh, art, art too, I would like. You too, I should get as well. Thank you, Karen. Um, folks, thank you so much for watching this. Oh, God, you're so great. SaintHalucha.com. If you ever plan on playing Fire Red, I'll bring you straight to that guide so you can totally check it out. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, and we will see you all on Tuesday. Bye-bye. You've all been great.